in the heart of a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and lush forests. There lived a renowned sculptor named Alastair. He was not just any artist, but a master of his craft, capable of breathing life into stone and marble. His sculptures were known far and wide for their exquisite detail and emotional resonance, leaving all who beheld them in awe. Alastair was a man of unwavering routine and discipline. Every morning, before the sun had even risen, he would ascend a steep hill overlooking the village. There, amidst the tranquility of nature, he would spend hours honing his skills. He chiseled and shaped, his hands moving with a rhythm born of countless hours of practice. This daily ritual had become as essential to him as the air he breathed. The villagers admired Alistair not only for his artistry but also for his dedication. They often gathered at the foot of the hill to watch him work, sharing stories of his brilliance and his steadfast commitment to his craft. One day, as Alistair was engrossed in his sculpting, a young boy named Leo approached the hill. Leo had heard tales of the sculptor's magic, and his heart swelled with curiosity. He watched, mesmerized, as Alistair's chisel danced across the surface of a rough stone, transforming it into a striking figure of a majestic eagle in flight. Days turned into weeks, and Leo became a regular visitor to the hill. He observed Alistair's every move, absorbing the sculptor's dedication and discipline like a sponge. Leo began to practice carving small figurines of his own. Using whatever materials he could find, wood, clay, even discarded bits of stone. Though his creations were far from perfect, Leo poured his heart and soul into each one, mirroring Alistair's devotion. One evening, as Alistair put the finishing touches on a lifelike statue of a young girl cradling the dove, he noticed Leo sitting at a distance, diligently working on his latest creation. Intrigued, Alistair approached the boy and examined the crude figurine in his hands. It was a humble representation of a butterfly, with uneven wings and a slightly lopsided body. Alistair smiled kindly at Leo and said, Excellence is not an act, my young friend, but a habit. It is born from a relentless pursuit of improvement, a commitment to growth and an unyielding passion for one's craft. Leo listened intently, his eyes shining with a newfound understanding. From that moment on, Leo redoubled his efforts. He continued to visit the hill, waking before dawn to practice his carving. Just as Alistair did, with time, his skill began to match his ambition, and his creations transformed from crude attempts into works of genuine artistry. Years passed, and the village saw two remarkable artists emerge from that hill overlooking the village. Alistair's sculptures continued to captivate and inspire, while Leo's creations drew equal praise. As the young boy had grown into a skilled sculptor himself, Alistair recognized that he had nurtured a legacy of excellence, one that would endure long after he was gone. The villagers marveled at the parallel between the master and his student, the mentor and the protégé. They understood that true excellence was not a fleeting achievement but a lifelong commitment to improvement and mastery. Alistair's legacy lived on through Leo, who continued to create art that touched the hearts and souls of all who encountered it. And so, the tale of Alistair and Leo became a cherished story in the village. A testament to the profound truth that excellence is not an isolated act but a habit woven into the fabric of one's being. The hill where Alistair had sculpted his masterpieces stood as a reminder that greatness is born. Not from mere talent but from the relentless pursuit of perfection. One stroke of the chisel at a time.